Hello everyone, my name is Richard Sha, and today we'll be talking about point of care ultrasound lung. Our objectives today are indications for lung ultrasound, how to perform lung ultrasound, and we'll talk about A lines and B lines. So these are the indications for performing a lung ultrasound. You want to evaluate for pleural effusion, a pneumothorax, pneumonia, pulmonary edema, or pulmonary fibrosis, and many more. The probe I use for lung ultrasound is the face array or cardiac probe. And I like this probe because we can see deeper structures. Sometimes we can also use the linear probe. In terms of positioning, the patient is usually supine, and the probe marker is pointed towards the patient's head. There are three main parts of the chest you want to look at, the upper, the middle, and the lower. And you want to do this on both sides of the chest. So the upper area is, a, is at the second intercostal space, right alongside the parasternal. The middle is about five to six intercostal space alongside the mid clavicular line. And the lower part is between seventh to eighth intercostal space along the mid axillary line. So the upper and middle parts of the chest, you'll see something like this. And usually when you're performing lung ultrasound, you want to get in between two ribs, which are these rib shadows that you can see, they're black. And this middle part is pretty much the lung. So this shows a schematic of the area that you want to look at for the, for the lung fields. This is the upper, middle, and this is the posterior side. So this is a picture of a normal lung. Here is the skin surface. This is the pleural line. And the rest is the lung. And these lines you see here are called A lines, which are normal artifacts on the ultrasound. And notice that it's about the same distance from the pleural line. So these are B lines, and B lines that are the lines that go all the way down. And for it to be pathological, you need three or more. These are the rib shadows right in between, and you see this black shadowing. And B lines indicate either pulmonary edema, pneumonia, fibrosis, or COPD. If you see B lines on both sides of the lungs, you're thinking about pulmonary edema, but if you only see one-sided B lines, then you're thinking about pneumonia. This is showing some pleural fusion of the lungs. Here we have the liver. This is the fluid. This is the diaphragm. And here we see a little bit of lung right there, comes in and out. And you will see this at the posterior side of the lung. Next, we'll talk about pneumothorax. A pneumothorax is present if there is absent lung sliding, if you see a lung point. Or when you put the, put the mode into M mode, you'll see the seashore sign that's changed to barcode sign. And we'll talk a little bit more about that later. So here's a video of a pneumothorax. Presence of lung sliding means no pneumothorax. Absent lung sliding meaning possible pneumothorax. And the lung point, which is the point between lung sliding and no lung sliding. And that's very specific for pneumothorax. So the left side is normal lung, and the right side, there is pneumothorax. And this is the end mode. When you put that area in end mode, normal lung sliding will give you the seashore sign. All these are pretty much like the sand. And if there's pneumothorax, the area is, isn't really moving that much. You, you'll see something like the barcode sign, as you see over here. 
kind of like barcodes. So in summary, today we talked about indications for lung pocus. We talked about A lines and B lines and what they are mean. We talked about A lines and B lines and what they mean, and that three or more B lines meaning pathological. And presence of B lines can indicate either pulmonary edema, pneumonia, pulmonary fibrosis. If you see one side of B lines, then you're thinking about one side of pathology, such as a pneumonia. And if you see bilateral B lines, then you're thinking more about pulmonary edema. Then we also talk about pneumothorax. And the suspicion for pneumothorax raises if there's absent lung sliding, if you see the lung point, and if you see the barcode sign. And these are my references. Thank you.